All right, hi guys. So let's get started with the next episode of Five PYQs in Five Minute, in which we are actually discussing five ultra important topic for examinations like INICT, NEET, PG, and FMG. So, what is our main goal of doing this one? That on a regular basis, the student should stay in touch with the subject like pharmacology because I have heard from a lot of you that the subject is volatile and we are forgetting the drugs. So, I all I ask from all of you guys is that spend at least fifteen minute, just the fifteen minute, watch one episode on the regular basis. to make sure that your hold on pharmacology become the strongest the very first question that we have for the day is bisphosphonate act by now what we know about bisphosphonate guys that this bisphosphonate is a drug of choice for osteoporosis osteoporosis ke liye drug of choice hai any patient any age group be it uh, any any gender as well they are the drug of choice and they increase the osteoid formation no their main action is mainly they decrease the osteoclast mediated bone resorption they actually get deposited they get absorbed by the osteoclast and they promote their apoptosis so in a simple term remember they are going to decrease the osteoclast activity they do not have osteoblastic activity or i would say osteoblast activity osteoblastic activity badhane ke liye we are having recombinant parathyroid hormone analog the drugs like your teriparatide drugs like your teriparatide abeloparatide abeloparatide they are the drug that is actually going to increase the osteoblastic activity hai na ऑस्ट्रोब्लास्टिक एक्टिविटी बढ़ाने के लिए ओनली दीज टू ड्रग्स आर देर एंड इनफैक्ट इन वन ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन एग्जाम आस्ट ऑल्सो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ड्रग दैट इज यूज फॉर द ऑस्ट्रो प्रोसेस इज हैविंग एनाबोलिक इफेक्ट सो दे आर द वन दैट इज गोइंग टू हैव अ बोन एनाबोलिक एक्टिविटी बोन एनाबोलिक एक्टिविटी बोन के ग्रोथ को बढ़ाते हैं बाई इंक्रीजिंग द ऑस्ट्रोब्लास्टिक एक्टिविटी ठीक है decreasing the parathyroid hormone secretion no they do not decrease the parathyroid hormone bisphosphonate is the one and second question about bisphosphonate that you should know that in its important side effect and one of the important side effect that i always say that all of you guys remember they actually cause increase in the risk of gerd and they can also lead to jaw necrosis osteonecrosis of the mandible or i would say jaw necrosis that has also been reported and for this to prevent the gerd related side effect we always ask the patient to take the drug with a full glass of water and maintain upright position at least for 30 to 40 minutes the next question that we are having is which of the following group of antibiotic possesses additional anti inflammatory so additional anti inflammatory and anti uh, sorry immuno moderating property this has been reported actually with the drugs like your macrolides right so we have a drug like macrolide that is drugs like your azithromycin erythromycin these are the macrolides that we are having right these are considered as the macrolide drug and how are they actually promoting the immuno moderating property remember they are actually going to get accumulated in the neutrophil and they are in inhibiting the neutrophilic activity they get accumulated in the neutrophil and they actually inhibit the neutrophilic activity so this is one of the neutrophilic activity and also the macrophages right so they are actually antibiotic azithromycin is one of the protein synthesis inhibitor that is mainly acting as a 50s ribosomal subunit pe kaam karke they are having a static property that is another point and in addition to their having antimicrobial property they are also having immunomodulatory and anti inflammatory property now options like fluoroquinolones quinolones hai they are fluorinated quinolones these are one of the dna gyrase inhibitor and the name of the drugs under this one all the drugs are ending with the floxacin the agents under this one are ending with the fluoxacin remember dna gyrase inhibitor fluoroquinolone example of a drug could be your ciprofloxacin moxifloxacin ofloxacin beta lactams is a class of drug they, they are the cell wall inhibitor they are sidle in nature tetracycline is also having static property tetracycline is also one of the static property they are the 30s ribosomal subunit inhibitor theek okay? hai they do not have any immunomodulatory property protein synthesis inhibitor showing sidle property now most of the protein synthesis inhibitor guys remember they are having static property but there are some that is having sidle so i always used to say ki such protein synthesis inhibitor which can make your bacteria or which can produce sidle effect sidle matlab killing effect so ye bacteria ko bana dete hain lash they are going to make your bacteria like a lash and lash stand for drugs like your linezolid that is one of the 50s inhibitor aminoglycoside one of the 30s inhibitor and other one is known as streptogramins 
Streptogramine is a drug that is a combination of quinpristine and dalfopristine. Streptogramine is a combination of quinpristine and dalfopristine. Linazolid is having, remember, dual property. Dual property means they are having sidal to most of them, but they are also having a static property to some pneumococci, right? Sorry, sidal to, uh, you know, some of some and static to some of them. So they are actually going to have, you know, um, dual property amino glycoside is actually going to be sidal for all and likewise streptogramine remember streptogramine it is uh, one of the drug that is a protein synthesis inhibitor a combination of quinpristine dalfopristine they are actually also having sidal property but linezolid is showing dual property all others are having static property so protein synthesis inhibitor that is showing sidal so agar aap dekhenge to isme amino glycoside the name of the drugs are going to be right <coughs> they are actually sidal to some of the pneumococci they are the drug that is having sidal for the some pneumococci clostridium perfringens in ke liye sidal hote hain baki linezolid mostly is having dual property so what we know that protein synthesis inhibitors are mostly static lekin kuch aise hain jo ki bacteria ko last mein convert kar dete hain linezolid amino glycoside and streptogramins chloramphenicol is one of the protein synthesis inhibitor they are also showing static property remember to the majority Reluzol is a recently approved drug that is used for Reluzol. Okay, एक और drug है जिसको बोलते हैं Reluzol तो NMDA है और इतना recently भी नहीं है NMDA blocker Reluzol. It is a drug that has got approved for the amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. The examiner has asked in one of the 2017-18 AIMS um, exam question a drug by the name of your Idara Vone. Idara Vone is one of the drug that is having a small molecule that is having free radical scavenging property. Free radical scavenging property. Okay, the name of the drug is Idara Vone. It's also one of the new drug for the same amyotrophic lateral sclerosis only. Okay, Wilson D's के लिए we have drugs like as a drug of choice we can utilize zinc. They are actually going to inhibit the copper absorption from the intestine. Intestine से copper के absorption को they are going to inhibit. Apart from that, we can also utilize the D-penicillamine as a chelating agent. D penicillamine is used as a chelating agent. Chelating agent, and other chelating agent that is more safer is known as triantine. It is costly but more safer as compared to D penicillamine. D penicillamine is having wide group of uh, side effect, right? In addition to that, remember we have one more that is tetrathiomolybdate. Tetrathiomolybdate I N I C T के लिए next exam का question हो सकता है. Tetrathiomolybdate. It is mainly given to the patient with the C N S patient. Those who are presenting with the CNS involvement. If Wilson D's ka patient hai with the CNS involvement and they are going to slow down the progression of the CNS involvement mainly. So tetrathiomolybdate is a drug that is going to be utilized for a patient with the Wilson disease. Hai na? Parkinson is again a neurodegenerative disorder of uh, the dopamine that is whole different topic. Uh, Reluzol is not utilized. Neither Reluzol has any effect in the Huntington disease. Correct answer for this one is C. The antidyslipidemic drug Volani source and act by. So in the class, I always used to tell you that a drug whose name itself contains a villain and it is mainly targeting the villain. Who is the villain? Let's understand. Triglyceride, remember guys, it is normally metabolized with the help of an enzyme called your lipoprotein lipase. Okay. So is a lipoprotein lipase is going to act as a actor or main hero, superhero for you? Because yes, lipoprotein lipase is causing breakdown of the excess of the triglyceride. But in our body, a villain is being produced. and the name of the villain is apoc3 now why am i calling it as a villain because it is being synthesized in your own body and it is inhibiting your own <clears throat> very good enzyme so something that is good is being inhibited by apoc3 so apoc3 is acting like a villain for your body because apoc3 is causing breakdown of the lipoprotein lipase and because of this reason because of this reason remember the level of triglyceride is actually going to be increased so there is going to be hyper triglyceridemia and we have a drug that can target this villain and the name of the drug that target this villain i always used to tell you is called volani source in jo villain ko target kar de that is Volani source and so what is the name of the villain guys apoc3 apoc3 is the name of the villain however they can be utilized for the treatment of the hypertriglyceridemia if the examiner is going to ask you what is the best agent for hypertriglyceridemia so best agent for the hypertriglyceridemia is none other than your ppar alpha agonist fa is fee ppar alpha agonist fa is fee fa is fee and this is going to be your fibrates 
like phenofibrate, visa fibrate, gem fibrosis. These are all known as your fibrate. They are the best drug for hypertriglyceridemia. But uh, can I also use drugs like your volani sourcing? Yes, I can also use volani sourcing. So I think we already have got the answer to this question. The answer to this question is mainly going to be your EPO C3 synthesis inhibitor. EPO B100 synthesis inhibitor, you remember by the name EPO is MIPO. So the name of the drug is MIPO Mersen. M Mipo Mersen CTP inhibitor. The name of the compound could be Anacetrapib. Have not got approval, but just good to know. Anacetrapib. They are the cholesterol ester transfer protein inhibitor. MTTP inhibitor. Yeah, MTP inhibitor. Microsomal triglyceride uh, transfer protein inhibitor. Microsomal triglyceride transfer protein inhibitor. It's known as your lomitapide. Lomitapide. So, these are just newer drug microsomal triglyceride transfer protein inhibitor. Lomitapide. The name itself is having everything, right? So, this was five question with all of you guys in uh, five or rather ten minute, I would say. But uh, the ten to ten uh, minute that we have spent here is uh, mainly for targeting around twenty ultra important topic that could be a potential MCQ for any of your examination. I will see you in my next video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this video, and let me know what other videos that you want. I'll make sure to make a video on that as soon as possible. Thank you very much.